We have another wild and harsh response coming from Linus Torvalds himself as he's frustrated again with Kent Overstreet and more specifically with case insensitive file systems. To catch you up real quick, over the past six months, Linus Torvalds has been frustrated with Kent, the developer and the main maintainer of the Bcash file system, which all centered around the developmental practices of Kent and their lack of adherence to the Linux kernel's code of conduct. Also, what really set Linus off initially was the last minute poorly tested code submissions, which escalated the conflict with another maintainer. And as a result, some of Kent's patches were rejected for the Linux 6.13 release. At that time, the future of Bcash FS in the Linux kernel became uncertain, but we got an interesting response from Linus as this one starts with, there's a story behind the case insensitive directory fixes and lessons to be learned. The first sentence, no, by Linus. Well, we're gonna get into this one, but let's read what Kent originally sent so we can have some context here. This is from Kent Overstreet to Linus, and the subject was a git pull request for the Bcash FS fixes on the 6.15 RC4 release of the kernel. It starts out with the sentence that we've already read. There's a story behind the case insensitive directory fixes and lessons to be learned. When I was discussing with the developer who did the implementation, I noted that FS tests should already have tests. However, it seems I neglected to tell them how to make sure the tests actually run. So there's a lesson here. And since inadequate testing keeps coming up, let me state it now. It is not enough to simply rely on the automated tests. This is a contention that Linus has had with Kent in the past that there haven't been enough tests or testing with some of the pull requests. And it was blatantly obvious that things had been thrown together and not tested at all. Either way, we continue on. You have to have eyes on what your code is doing. That means that until you've thoroughly familiarized yourself with the code you're working on and the test suites, you need to look with your eyes and confirm that the tests are doing what you think they're doing and your code is doing what you think it's doing. If you're not 100% sure that your code is doing what you think it's doing, it's your responsibility to dig in and verify, add print KS, trace points, counters, whatever it takes. This was quite a mouthful, but we'll keep going on. Automated test infrastructure is a backstop because there are times when we are all forgetful and miss things. You have to run your code locally and look at what it does. I've provided good tools for this. If you're working on my code, make sure you're using them. And then some changes are noted in the commit, including one that really set Linus off. BcacheFS fixes here for 6.15. Case insensitive directories now work. And now we get into Linus Torvald's harsh critique as Linus is immediately dismissive and comments with a blunt no. Before we get into this, make sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe below as you wouldn't want to miss more drama like this. Let's continue on. The only lesson to be learned is that the file system people never learn. Case insensitive names are horribly wrong and you shouldn't have done them at all. The problem wasn't the lack of testing. The problem was implementing it in the first place. Linus really fighting back right away. The problem is then compounded by the trying to do it right and in the process doing it horrible wrong indeed because right doesn't exist but trying to will make random bytes have very magical meaning and by the way the tests are all completely broken anyway last i saw they didn't actually test for all the really interesting cases the ones that cause security issues in user land and ken has faced repeated criticism over testing practices associated with the bcash file system in the past because of insufficient testing like earlier in October of 2024, Kent decided to submit patches which had insufficient testing and had issues on big Indian systems, which ticked Linus off, which means there was possible regressions and instability being introduced by the file system. Continuing on, security issues like user space checked that the file name didn't match some security sensitive pattern, and then the ship for brains file system ends up matching that pattern anyway, because the people who do case insensitivity invariably do things like ignore non-printing characters. So now case insensitive also means insensitive to other things too. For examples of this, see commits. And then we have two commits here. One's called Unicode, don't special case ignorable code points. 
and revert Unicode don't special case ignorable code points. And this should be read together here for examples of this, see commits and and cry. And the meaning that Linus is trying to get across here is that whoever submitted these commits would have tried to fix the Unicode comparison to be stricter, but it caused so many problems, including security bugs, that they had to roll it back. And cry is added at the end to just show the amount of frustration and pain this whole developmental area of case insensitivity really is because it's full of hidden traps. Basically don't commit the same mistakes. And in a hint, the two styles of hearts here are two Unicode characters that differ only in ignorable code points. And guess what? The cray cray incompetent people who want those two to compare the same will then also have other random and perhaps security sensitive files compare the same just because they have ignorable code points in them. So now every single user mode program that checks that they don't touch special pass is basically open to being fooled into doing things they explicitly checked they shouldn't be doing. And no, that isn't something unusual or odd. Lots of programs do exactly that. Damn it, case sensitivity is a bug. The fact that the file system people still think it's a feature, I cannot understand. It's like they revere the old fat file system so much that they have to recreate it badly. Signed off, Linus. So it seems like Linus's stance here is he's pretty furious with the case insensitive file names, such as in bcachefs, which Linus believes is a fundamentally broken and dangerous idea to even be played with. Clearly, he thinks this feature shouldn't exist at all, as it is inherently insecure and could create a huge class of security vulnerabilities when a file name that looks different still matches a protected or sensitive file. And when he talks about invisible or ignorable, I believe he's talking about the characters that can fool software into thinking something is what it really isn't when it comes to naming and blames file system developers for romanticizing this case insensitive idea that came from older file systems like the fat file system, despite all the damage that has been caused as past experiences have proven it. I think mainly Linus is a little frustrated with Kent as this historically dangerous feature lacked proper testing and care from Kent as he's done similar things in the past. Regardless, we got another blunt and harsh response from Linus himself. Let me know what you think about the response in the comments section below. If you want to check out the drama between Linus and Kent in the past, I have videos that I'm going to post in the description below so you can check out that drama as well if you haven't had enough tea already. And if you enjoy videos like this, go down, subscribe below, and make sure to smash that like button on the way back up. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.